Hello, this is Tristan from Conradivers.com and this is a short video on a Seiko SKX023 that we recently bought from one of our trusted sellers, uh, Gilosh Watches, who's based in Manila in the Philippines. Uh, these guys specialize in vintage Seikos, a refurbishment and a slight modification of the watches as well. The watch that we're going to be looking at today is this one here, which is the Seiko SKX023, uh, more of a Submariner style with the crown on the side here, as you can see. It's going to zoom in a little bit so you can see the watch in more detail. Okay, so this watch, I was looking for a watch on eBay that had a little bit of patina. Um, I didn't want it to have everything had been replaced. It, the, the one I've got here has the original bezel, the original dial, and the original hands. So as I said uh, already, it's an SKX023. Uh, there's a 23 and a 25, which use, both use the same case. The code of this watch is a 7S260050. It's a little bit smaller than more popular SKX009, 007. Uh, 31, 33 and other uh, watches in the series. Uh, this one's only 30, uh, what is it? I'm just reminding myself it is 38 millimeters from side to side excluding the crown and about 44 mil from top of lug to top of lug. Top of lug. So about three or four mil smaller than the Seiko Pepsi SK, SKX009. Uh, the reason for this video really is just to sort of show you the quality and what you get on eBay from one of our trusted sellers. This watch cost me UK pounds about 75 or 78 delivered. So that was about $110. I had been bidding on quite a few and um, sometimes they do go, the prices do go a bit high. But this one with the original patina um, bezel and dial, I was quite keen on securing but I do think I got it at a good price. The team at Galosh, they service the watches, um, make sure that they are working as they should. You take the back off this one. I've already obviously unscrewed this one. As you can see, it's a nice clean movement in there. That's the very popular Seiko um, 7S26. This one is a 7S26A, a 21 dual movement automatic so this is the rotor winds the watch um, throughout the day as you wear it so this is a automatic watch if you're not familiar with the terminology just put the back on loosely there we go the 7s26 has quick set date a word of warning with the quick set date uh, sometimes people do break the watch by doing the quick set function between the hours of sort of 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock maybe, and 2 a.m., which is when the time is changing. So unless you know that you're at midday, it's a good idea to move the watch to somewhere between 4 o'clock uh, and, say, 8 o'clock. or yeah, So 4 o'clock and 8 o'clock is safe. So this watch is currently at just gone half past 4. We unscrew... The crown, which is part of the water resistancy, pull it out half a click, and then going down in an anti-wise, anti-clockwise direction, changes the day, and going up on the front in a clockwise direction, changes the date. As I say, don't do this between sort of ten and two, so ten p.m. and two a.m. If you do know it's 12 midday, that's okay. But otherwise, to be safe, do it between four o'clock and eight o'clock. Otherwise, you can break the quick set date feature. Um, this watch came from Galosh Watches, who, as I previously said, they clean a watch and service them. It took about 10 or 12 days to arrive from Manila. Uh, what they don't do is guarantee the water resistance, so please don't pop it in the water. But uh, you know, I personally think for £80, Submariner style dive watch with a bit of history, a bit of patina. Um, I've had it on my wrist for the last week and a half 
and it's doing about plus or minus 30 seconds a day so I've been very happy with the timekeeping best day has been about probably 15 seconds um, that's it so that's the end of this very short video the seller in question has dozens of watches for sale every day on eBay please look at the link in the bottom uh, in a the description of the video or visit us at chronodivers.com and go to our trusted sellers uh, which is a link at the top and you'll see the galosh watches and several other hand-picked sellers that we have personal um, experience of by buying watches from them um, another video we'll be doing shortly another trusted seller is this one here which is the Parnix GMT which I got for under 60 pounds again from one of our trusted sellers you'll find them online at chronodivers.com thank you very much for watching uh, hopefully we'll be bringing you more videos shortly in the meantime pop over to chronodivers.com and have a look at the watches currently that we've selected from ebay and other trusted sources thank you bye